Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the missing number for number bonds to 50. And we will do this for subtraction questions. So let's have a look at our first example. Here we've got 50 minus something equals 27. 50 minus something equals 27. So what number do we have to take away from 50 to make it equal to 27? Now the simple method here is to swap the box with the number 27. And the reason why we're doing this is so that the missing number is on one side of the equal sign. So this is the equal sign. We're moving the missing number over here. And on the left hand side we've got 50 minus 27. And now we can do the equation. Let's do this using the vertical format. So we've got 50 minus 27 and we can label the columns if required, units and tens. We are now ready to go ahead and do the subtraction. Always check the sign. So starting with the units we've got 0 minus 7. Now we cannot do 0 minus 7 because 0 is smaller than 7. So therefore, we're going to take 1 from the tens over here. So let's cross out the 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. And the 1 we are taking from here, we're going to move to the units column. So the units column now reads 10 minus 7. 10 minus 7 is 3. Okay, 10 minus 7 is 3. Now how about the tens column? We've got 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. And that is our answer, 23. 50 minus 27 equals 23. Let's write this in the original question. 50 minus 23 equals 27. And it really is that simple. Okay, let's have a look at a second example. We've got 50 minus something equals 34. 50 minus something equals 34. Now again, we're going to swap these around. Therefore, the missing number is on one side of the equals. And on the other side, we have 50 minus 34. Again, we're going to use a vertical format. So we've got 50 minus 34. Let's put a nice big equal sign. And we've got the units column and the tens column. So we are now ready to go ahead and do the subtraction. Starting on the right hand side, we've got the units, which is 0 minus 4. Now, 0 minus 4 we cannot do because 0 is smaller than 4. So we're going to take 1 from the tens. Let's cross out the 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. And the 1 we've taken from here moves to the units column. So the units column now reads 10 minus 4. 10 minus 4 is 6. Now on the tens column, we've got 4 minus 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. And that's our answer, 16. Let's write this in the original question. 50 minus 16 equals 34. Okay, now after a period of time, you will know which two digits add to make 50. Okay? We'll look at this in the second tutorial.